there anything that you've done in the past that you would like more people to have seen? Well, this is by far the, the biggest uh, role that I've had where I actually have a storyline. I did a, a series for a season. There was a show called Combat Hospital that I was a recurring um, character on. And uh, I, I was sad that that show didn't go further because I actually think that that was a great show that had a lot of possibilities. So it was one of those kind of like, oh, too bad they didn't go for more than it one season. It was bittersweet. And, uh, it seems like there's no rhyme or reason. Lots of times, just, you know, things that are beyond our control. Mm -hmm. um, so so that's, a, that's a fun one. I, I did um, a, a role in Orphan Black this season, and I am just praying that they bring me back because I love that show and uh, I just had a lot of fun doing it. I was asking some of our fellow nice girls what would they want to ask you and that was what they wanted to know is how you felt about working in Orphan Black and did you want your character to come back? Yeah, absolutely I think that that character is so much fun she's like this pill-popping soccer mom and so it's just like I think it's such a funny role and I love Allison mm -hmm. and uh, and actually Tatiana is from Saskatchewan, the same as, as me, and so, you know, I've known Tatiana since she was about 12, and so it's been such a wild ride watching her rise and do this show. I think we're all very proud of her from, from the prairie. Is there anyone here who you would freak, would you would kind of have a fangirl moment for, well, or anyone I, I in general? It, I had it last night when I arrived, um, at the airport, uh, my husband and I were going to get our bags, and he said, "Do you know who that is over there? It's it's hotter from Game of Thrones." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my gosh, yeah. it's the Game of Thrones guys!" Yeah. And I've only seen the first two episodes or yeah. three, first two seasons of Game of Thrones, so I have some catching up to do. But uh, we got to travel with them to the hotel, so of course I, you know, behaved myself. But <laughs> I, inside, I was like, "Oh my god." It's a Game of Thrones, guys. What's the best piece of advice anyone's ever given you that helped you? Mm. I, I think um, a couple things. One thing that I, I read once was um, carve your own image or somebody will carve it for you. And I thought that that was a, a useful piece of advice, especially for somebody that's in this industry. And, uh, and I think that Another one is to um, make sure that you don't underestimate yourself because in this industry, often other people will underestimate you. So it's sometimes you've got to really hold on to it for yourself. Who, who you are. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything you do that kind of keeps you centered? And well, I wish I could say I do yoga and I <laughs> meditate and I do Pilates. And there's all the things that I, you know, are on the list of things to do that I just don't do. Uh, but I have really great friends um, that are not in this. I have a lot of great friends in this industry, but I've got a lot of great ones that are kind of on the outskirts of the industry as well. And uh, I just, I, I maintain those friendships. And I think that that's the most important thing to me is my, my family and my friends and just keeping grounded that way.